Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your earth science teacher, Mr. Stano. And we're going to continue with our hydrology discussion, and we're going to look at porosity. Porosity is nothing more than the percentage of pores between particles. That's really it. So the more pores we have, the more water that can go into the ground or be held by that ground. More pores, bigger spaces, bigger spaces, we can hold more water. We can look at two different volumes of a, of a substance, and we can see here on the left with A, that here we have these nice big pores. Look at these huge pores. So you would think we can put more water in them compared to B, where we have these small pores. But actually, the amount of the porosity is equal between A and B. Because what we see here in A is we have bigger pores, but few. On the right-hand side with B, we have small pores, but a lot of them. So when we do the math, we actually see that the porosity is going to be equal between these two samples. So in this instance, it doesn't matter if the particles are bigger and smaller. It's the volume itself will, or the porosity itself will be the same between the two different volumes of uh, sediment. The shape of the particle will have an effect on our porosity. We can see here on the left with the angular ones that they can fit in together. So because angular pieces can fit in together, it decreases porosity. Here, rounded, it leaves spaces between. So rounded particles will increase porosity. So here we have an increase in porosity. Here, a decrease in porosity. How tightly packed the particles are or the sediment is will also affect our porosity. If it's loosely packed, like we see on the right here, we can fit water between. So that means we have a high porosity. We have an increase in porosity when it's loosely packed. The clay, on the other hand, is tightly packed. So it decreases our porosity, which makes sense. If we can push all those particles together nice and tight, the, those little pore spaces between are going to decrease. We can also look at the sorting of the sediment. So if we have sediment like we have on the left here, where it's mixed sizes, this will decrease porosity. Versus on the right here, this is sorted, all the same size. This will increase our porosity. You can see here, it's just open space. So we can put water into those or fill water into them versus here we have the big sediment with all these little sediments so this is my pore space right in there it's not much so sorting has an effect on our porosity take a look at this diagram more sorting going on here so you can see on the left this is increase in sorting decrease in sorting over here this also decreases our porosity Here, increase porosity. So the relationship between porosity and permeability is one that looks like this. As our pore size increases, it increases our permeability. So we have a direct relationship. Uh, we're going to end our screencast here on hydrology right now. Uh, next time we come back, we're going to look at what happens when water infiltrates into the ground. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.